Okay, look at this little guy. Up close and personal. Okay. You rarely ever see one of these guys so close. All right. Now, look at these spikes. The right lighting, the right angle. All right. And in the back of his head. I mean, this guy, they have a, such a prehistoric look to them. I'm going to have to do the research. Uh, and then look at the back. I'm trying to get it to clear up here. All right, it's got these little sharp bumps on the back. All right, there you go. Now it's cleared up. It's, it almost looks like there is uh, stickers, you know. Um, armor here. Armor fortified. But I am told that they are uh, immune to the red ant bite. And the red ant bite is supposed to be able to take out a, a mouse. And yet these guys are immune to the bite. And um, these, not all horny toads shoot blood from their eyes. Um, so if, this is not the guy that does that. Okay, um, this is just the baby, of course, and uh, I've got some food down in here, okay, for him, it's got a little bit of water over here, there's his bowl, that is a milk carton lid, milk jug lid, now, they absorb water through their skin. And so people that raise these, they will have a water bottle and they will spray them with a water bottle. Uh, but I'm sure that uh, they will drink if there's water available, I'm sure. Okay, we can get a different angle on him here, close and personal. They're cold-blooded, and it's not warm today. Right. And uh, so he's not moving much. He's cold. And I... But if I put him in my hand, I could warm him up some. As we're doing a 360 shot here. All right. Let's see if I can zoom on him a bit. Can I get this to zoom? One second, please. Uh, okay. I, uh... Oh, I'm covering up the screen. Okay. Um. All right, so we'll get back to this. How cool is that? You know, you don't often see these guys. This is up close and personal. Uh. So let's uh, check them out. <clears throat> I wish I had more room. In here, but it's there's enough room for him. Well, they say you should have a 20 30 gallon tank. This is probably equivalent to a 10 gallon tank in size. 
And, uh, you know, there's three inches of dirt in here. So he'll use what he needs, you know. So let's get back to him. How are we doing? Okay. Here he is. Stoner, how's it going there, bro? Just caught this little guy the other day. I haven't seen a horny toad since I was a teenager. I used to play with these, catch them all the time when I was a kid. Never, never caught a baby. Never seen a baby. Uh, always caught the bigger ones. I think it's so cool. Uh, I've lived out here in this desert for some years and have not seen a horny toad till now. How cool is that? It's my little guy. And uh, so he's, they're cold blooded like lizards and snakes. Yeah, aren't they? They look prehistoric. I mean, look at the horns on the back of his head. I'll see if I can't get the, the shot where you can see his horns. Look, look, look at the horns right there in the back of his head. And then he's got those little spikes around the edge of his head. Those little spikes all over his body. Um, on the outer edges of his body. That allows him to burrow down in the dirt real quick. He will vibrate and burrow right underneath the dirt, and you won't see him. They do that to cool off. They'll do that to hide when, they're, when they get scared. Hey, friend, just got a couple of minutes. Uh, seen the note. Okay, great. Glad you're here. And uh, you don't hardly ever see these this up close and personal. Um, you, everybody shows them from a distance, but see that I, I really think these guys go back to this prehistoric days and, uh, they're bad to the bone. I've never seen, I never caught a baby before, you know, as a teenager, I always caught the big ones, but the ants are for food and, uh, they absorb water through their skin. So. I don't have a spray bottle, so I, I've got water here. I put it on my hand, and uh, I just kind of drip it down on him. And uh, that's how they drink, is through their skin. Guy, people will take misters and just mist them with the spray bottle. But I have a little water in there, you know, for GP in that cup. In that milk carton lid, milk jug lid. And uh, so pretty cool. Yeah, nature's protection. Yes, it sure is. Isn't it really cool? Yeah, the colors the brown, the gray, the black. It blends in like a rock, you know, on that rock from a distance. And uh, like I was saying a few minutes ago, the red ants, these are black ants, but the red ants, they uh, can kill a mouse with their bite, but these guys are immune to their bite. There's a better picture of them. That much clearer, more defined right there. That's a perfect green screenshot, guys, right there. Very nice screenshot, actually. Hey, Gaming with Marcos, 2019. Hi, thanks for being here. And uh, they're cold-blooded, just like a lizard. It hasn't been very warm here today. I caught him two days ago when it was warm and uh, really cool. Look at the little spikes on his legs. Look at the spikes there on his hind legs. 
And his, look at his fingers. Those look like fingers there. It looks like a, like a human hand. Look at his front, at his front arm. His front arm, his hand looks like a human hand. Isn't that cool? Ah, uh, just blurred out on me. There it is. That looks like a human hand almost. Isn't that cool? And the horns on his head, all the way around his head, all those spikes. Ah, oh, that bush is in the way for a front shot. Dropping the phone don't help. Sorry about that, guys. Well, thank you there, uh, Gaming with Marcos 2019. I just caught this guy. So this is a little different stream for me than what I normally have. But uh, he's sleeping there. Normally, he sleeps in the dirt. He buries himself in the dirt. He'll vibrate and shake. And uh, he goes right underneath the dirt. And uh, I'm surprised comfortable just sitting there on the rock like that. I'll put him in my hand here, and he'll and he'll want to move, but he's cold. See? Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax, relax, there, little guy. Yeah, he's cold. I can feel it. His eyes are shut. This is his bedtime. Um, he is trying to sleep, but he's also cold. If I could warm him up, you'd see him bear burrow himself down in the dirt and disappear. If I get him warmed up. It's kind of blurry. There is a clear spot. Now that paw looks a little different than this other one. This other one was looking more like a hand. This one looks totally different. More like a hand. I've never seen them this up close and personal. That one's a little bit different. But then he's not trying to hang on. With this one, he's trying to hang on. See his little nails? There's his eye. It's shut. When it's open, his eyes are kind of black. But uh, he's cool. Look at all the little barbs on him. Even on the underside. How cool is that, man? Hey, wrenches and borders. How we doing, my brother? Well, thanks for dropping in. We're looking at this guy up close and personal. Those are horns right there on the back of his head. I'm trying to give you a better view. There you go. Yes, he's just a baby. He's a little bitty guy. Okay, I'm going to set him down. Let's see what he. Let's see if he wants to go somewhere. He acts like he's dead, but he's not. He's just cold. See, he'll jump off my hand. 
if I pick him up, see, he's just cold, moving slow as molasses here. But see, and I put him on my hand. See, he'll 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 want to move. See, he's just a little bitty guy. But I'm trying to warm him up or he'll move. But this is his bedtime. You know, I've I've disturbed him. Um, I, I brought him outside to give him some sunshine. And uh, but it was cold. And so now I'm just trying to warm him up a little bit before I put him put him down. Because he'll bury himself. He'll vibrate and shake, and he just digs right into that dirt and disappears. It takes seconds. Okay. A little wet mud on his face there. Don't bother him. None is bothering me more than it's bothering him. But, uh, yeah, he's a pretty cool little guy. I wouldn't mind catching a big one. He's just, like I say, he's cold. He's just down for the count. Bye, GTG. Well, you're welcome there, uh, Wrench Discoveries. My pleasure. He's cold. He's not moving. He's Usually he's climbing off my hand. Um, I would love to you to see him uh, bury himself. It's really cool. Like I say, he kind of shakes and vibrates and just drops right down into that soil. And what allows for it, if I can show you the barbs, see the barbs on his, the edge of his body there. That allows him to cut right into it. Right there. It keeps fading out. My camera's jacked, unfortunately. It's not doing us any justice. Because it fades in and fades out. Anyways, right there on his side, it showed it a few times. Um, okay, I'm going to put my phone up. I'm going to put it in, a, in its case. All right. And uh, so I'm going to put this up I'm gonna, in the holder and uh, see if I can't get into do something, move here, I'll warm him up. I don't like all that wet mud on his face. Now he's cleaned off, cleared off most of it. All right. Yeah, let, let's see what happens. He gets warmed up here for a minute. I just have light pressure over him here with my hands. And uh, but like I say, they're not, they're, they're, they, they go to sleep. Um. Early and it starts getting cool. They 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 bury they burrow, but he's not even trying to move. Um, you see him moving some, but he's soft. He looks like he would be hard, but he's not hard. He's he's really soft. Um. Okay, I think he's just enjoying the warmth from my hand, tell you the truth. Um, 
Is it cold blooded like lizards and snakes? And I can feel underneath his, his stomach there, it's, it's a little cool. Okay, little guy. All right. He, uh... Okay, go on. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay, let's see where we're going to... Where are we going to put you? We're going to position you right here. Right there. But you see, he's... This guy, this is his bedtime. And uh, I guess I'm just going to have to help him go to put him to rest, put him to let him sleep. Um, all right. And normally, like I say, he will shake and vibrate. And But I think he's too cold, so I'm going to help him. Okay, I'm just going to bury him myself about like he would. And, uh, you know, they'll dig down deeper if they want. And uh, there he is. He just blends right in. Now, that's what he does for himself. His head is... Uh, Right here in front of my finger that you can't see. I'm sorry. All right. Let me see. His head is right here. Right there below my finger is his head. Okay. See how he blends right in? Because there's his head right here. There's his head right there. Right there is his head. I'm touching his head. And he blends right in like a rock. Okay? I'm going to do this one time here. I'm going to lift him up so that you see so that you see for yourself that it's his head, not a rock. See? Look just like a rock. But it was his head. Isn't that cool? And uh, like I say, he'll, he'll bury himself, but I'm guessing he's too cold and it's too late in the day and I kind of disturbed his natural sleeping time. And uh, now I'm going to help him do his thing. Uh, I'm going to have to get a light, sprinkle the dirt over him. All right, now I'm going to take this out of here so I can see the chat. <laughs> no. I might call him my mascot, but no, I haven't named him. Thank you. No, I might. I'm, he might just be called my mask. But you see, he blends right in. If I didn't know where he was, I would have no clue. And he's barely buried. Barely buried. Okay. And that's how they do it. I remember uh, when I was a teenager... And I'd catch these. I'd go out to where there was this area in the mountains where there was some soft sand, some soft dirt. And I'd go through it with my hands, you know, I'd kind of go through the dirt. And if there was any in there, I'd, I'd pull them out. Other times, you know, you'd have to get down on one knee and lunge out for them and kind of put your hand over the top, kind of catch them this way. So you could kind of hold them to get a hold of them to pick them up as a teenager. And uh, it was always fun. But I catch the big ones, not, not these guys. But uh, this is cool having a baby. I mean, that's pretty cool. 
So we'll see how it goes. And, you know, everybody's saying they need this 20-gallon aquarium. Not necessarily. And, uh, you know, three inches of dirt or so. You know, he'll go down as deep as he wants. He'll be as, or he'll be on the top. He'll barely, barely be covered with dirt. You know, you could see him. He has a little bit of dirt on him. Other times he goes down and you don't even know where he's at <laughs> until he comes out. Um, really cool animals. And, it's, and I think they're prehistoric. I'm going to have to do some research on uh, these horny toads. Are they prehistoric? Do they go back to the prehistoric times? Uh, I wonder if they do. Uh, I'm thinking they do. I have to find out for sure. I can't say it as a fact. I don't know that. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd share this little guy. I have another video I did earlier. Uh, I may upload after the live stream. And then the one I uh, did yesterday, I'll make a playlist with these three videos in there as well. Um, I have a video of a, of a five-foot gopher snake. It went from the ground clear up to my cheek right here. About five foot and about eh, so big around. Nice snake. Very nice snake. I would have loved to have kept him, but I need a, you need an aquarium for one of those guys. Or a wooden box or something with the lid. But anyways, no, they need sunlight. You can't really do that. They need sunlight. But that's a five foot gopher snake. I have a video of that. It was on the live stream recently. Last week. If you want to see a five-foot gopher snake, it's back a few videos um, for what that's worth. But I did a little up-close and personal video of him earlier that I'll probably upload here in a few minutes after this one gets uploaded. And then I'll put it all in a playlist along with the snake. So if you want to come back and check that out. Because I don't have one yet of this horny toad. But, uh, yeah, it's a little different from my channel, and uh, I think it's kind of cool. So, he's down for the count. You know, we put him to sleep, put him to bed. Normally, he puts himself to bed, but I kind of woke him up in the middle of his natural routine, and I threw him out a sequence of how he normally operates, you know. I've uh, interfered with his bedtime. So... All right. I appreciate everyone for being here. Does anybody have any questions or, you know, have you raised any horny toads or lizards or, you know, what do you know about it? Stomp. Stoner. Two times. Two times. Times two what there, Stoner? I missed something. I missed something there. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Uh, how are you? Have you have you raised any uh, snakes or lizards or mice or rats or anything like that? Depending on where you live. Got a dog? If you had a bunch of snakes and lizards, okay. Are uh, you uh, like in California or are you in another state or another country? And you have two dogs. I have two dogs. In New York. All right. All right. Yeah, I have a shepherd and a bulldog shepherd or a pit bull shepherd, one of the two. I have some videos of them in my playlist. Um, you can check out if you're interested. Some dog training videos, too, in my playlist if you want to know how to work with your dogs for obedience. And uh, as a puppy, teaching them how to keep from growling at you if you're eating. Have you ever heard of a T 
Tigu, a T, a Tigu. If you're saying Tigu, I have no clue. Sounds, uh, I don't know, European or something. I have no idea. No, I haven't. Am I pronouncing it right? T E G U Tigu. Unless I'm pronouncing it wrong, but no, I haven't. Oh, it's a big lizard. Do you have one now? Or is it something you had in the past? Tegu. Tegu. All right. Never, ever. I've heard of a bearded dragon. We've all heard of geckos. Yeah, I've had it years ago. The, they are about the size of a cat. What? Or a small dog. What do you feed it? Mice or rat? Probably more like rats. I'm thinking guinea pigs. Although guinea pigs would probably be too expensive to be feeding it. Or do they? Ju or or are they uh, vegetarians? Are they carnivores? Or are they vegetarians? Rats, meat, meat. You mean like uh, you could feed them a chicken, a raw chicken leg without the bone? I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know. Does, does it have to be alive? Okay, cool, cool, cool. <sighs> Yeah, I've never heard of one. Where do they come from? Central America or somewhere like that? South America, Central America, the, the rainforest. That sounds like a pretty serious lizard, man. That thing is humongous. No lizards right now. No snakes, no lizards now. Like I was saying to um, a few videos back, it was a live stream, uh, Insane Friends live stream. Um, I'm showing my the five-foot gopher snake I caught out here in my front yard. It's probably about a 15, 20-minute video of the snake. I'm wrapping it around my neck, you know, and... Uh, had some friends over that, you know, I was going to walk in on them with it and <laughs> get a reaction video. So that was kind of fun. Might want to check out my snake video from last week. Go for snake. Well, I... I think South America, nope, they are past the old age. Uh, we're home. Past, past of, oh, oh, past of old age, okay. How old do they live to be? They live to be like five, ten? I have no clue how long... These lizards live. I have no idea. I know iguanas live a long time. Really? One to a hundred years, 99 years. I'm thinking you're serious. If you are, that's amazing. That's amazing. Well, I guess I'm going to have to call it. Now, I put some um, black, some big black ants in here. Um, you know about, uh, does it matter, you know, what kind of ants they eat? Do you have any, do you know anything about that? I'll show you the ants. 
Let's see, let's find the ants. Looks like the ants went to sleep too. I'm not seeing the ants and they didn't get out. Oh, here's some ants right here. There's an ant right there. There they are. They're hiding right over here. They're getting the water. They're getting the water from the wet soil. So do you know anything about their food? As far as, you know, do they have to be red ants? Can it be any kind of ant? If you had lizards or you do all, or did you have just big lizards? Yeah, but they're they're getting that water out of that soil right there. Look at them. They're all over it down there. Yeah, they're huddled all together down there, getting that moisture out of the soil. Not sure on ants. All mine ate mice and meat. All right. Okay. Well, I learned something about the bigger lizards. So that's cool. So, all right, we're going to turn this around. I'm going to give you a little peek at his head. There's his head sticking up right there. It's hard to tell. It looks like a rock. But you can see the shape of his head. If you look careful, you can see the little um, needle points like, you know, like the little spikes coming out the side. But if you did, but if you were just looking, it looks like a rock down there, see? To get closer, and you can start, you can start seeing them pretty clear. See, you look at it real closely, you can see the barbs around his head and the shape of his face. Pretty cool camouflage, isn't it? Unbelievable. So I'm going to have to do some research and see if uh, they go back to the prehistoric times with the dinosaurs. Because he sure does look it. And see, now you can see him a little better now that you know what you're looking at. See, you can see the barbs on the side of his head. Now, most of the time, they are buried down in that dirt, two inches, three inches, um, uh, or on the surface like this. It just depends on are they trying to get cool? Are they afraid? They'll bury themselves when they're afraid to protect themselves. They'll hide and bury them quickly, and it, it, they do it in seconds. Um, I'm going to try to get a video of him doing that. Uh, burying himself. I was hoping to do that tonight, but like I said, it was too late in the day. I should have done this in the afternoon when he's awake. So, all right. I uh, appreciate you being here, uh, Stoner. Uh, what's your channel about, Stoner? Tell me about your channel before we, before we disconnect, before I end the live stream. What, what's your channel about? Is it a gaming channel or what's it about? Or does the name of your channel represent what your channel's about? I mean, I'm trying to understand. I wear armor and fight with sticks. It's more for personal viewing, but you're welcome. To seven watch. Yeah, all right. So you fight with sticks. Are you talking to more like martial arts? Is that what you're talking about? And if you say sticks, um, just like a solid stick, like a 
coat like a coat, like a broomstick, five, four, five foot stick. Or you're talking about sticks with hinges on it, what they're called, but they're three individual sticks on a hinge that you swing. I forget what they're called. So you're into stick fighting. What? And you're in New York. Sounds like you're from another country. So, yeah, it's called Society for Creative. I can't make that out. My screen's all cracked up really bad. And uh, my eyes, I got some poison in my eye. And it's one eye that is, I've lost a lot of eyesight in it. So I have a hard time seeing it. And charism. And. Charism. It's full contact fighting with rat and sticks. Rat and sticks. Ah, I should know what that is. I have to see it. So um, after this video uploads, I'll go to I'll go check your channel and uh, see what you're talking about and I'll say hey to you. Um, so if you're doing stick fighting, you might want to also learn grappling, like UFC mixed martial arts grappling. Uh, my, I have five, six nephews, well, five nephews, and they all do it. Um, and you ever lose your stick, you need to know how to get in there and get that guy down. You know what I'm saying? And uh, or if you're on the ground, you need to be able to take that guy down when you're on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you want to learn that miss the grappling. Yeah, it's called Society for Creative and Nice. I'm into all sorts of fighting. All right. All right. Yeah, the uh, mixed martial arts, the grappling, um, all, it's all groundwork, all ground skills. Um, it's, it's, it's like Aikido, you know, Jiu-Jitsu, a whole combination of uh, different arts for ground fighting, joint manipulation, etc. And uh, don't matter how big you are or how strong you are, if you know these moves, you got you got the advantage. Um. So anyway, something to check out if you don't know much about it, it'd be worth your time. Um, how old are you? 18, 19, 20? Or Older, but I'm assuming you're probably in that in that age bracket. I'm guessing. Thirty three. All right. All right. Good. Um, I can put my hands flat on the floor right now, brother. I can actually hang my uh, wrist below a step, standing in front of a step. I can below, you know, wrist below. Um, but you know, like you know, you got stretch all the time. And uh, I'm not 30 anymore. I look young, but I'm not 30 anymore. Um, I've been thinking about doing some videos on stretching and some weightlifting, like on a Tuesday or a Monday. or I haven't quite figured it out what I'm going to do yet. But I'm going to start out real basic just for anybody or for somebody that hasn't stretched for a long time. And they want to get limber again, you know, and they want to be able to function better <laughs> uh i'm thinking about do a basic some basic stretching moves and loosening up and that kind of thing uh and then go with more advanced you can put your cheek on the floor between your legs you know where you're just completely stretched to the max and uh do some of that kind of stuff but start out just really really basic for the person that can't touch the toes yet you know they're struggling to do that. You need to get into, yeah, stretching plays such a big part. Plays a big part. Um, you're into martial arts in that. Um, I can, I'll put this, my phone up in my tripod and I'll point it down at the bottom of my step. And uh, then I'll drop down and, and show you what I'm talking about. All right.
I'll do that for you just because I, I think you'll appreciate it. You know, or normally I just wouldn't do that. Um, you know, it's not about trying to show off uh, or anything like that. But I think you'll appreciate it. Um, like I said, I'm not in my 30s no more, bro. All right, I'm going to put this in. Let me get it set up. This this is extra. This is free. <laughs> All right. Got my steps right here. All right, let me get this thing put in place. I'm not know where my buttons are. All right. Okay. Well, bear with me. Now, I haven't stretched today, so we're going to see. It's going to be real. I'm trying to turn my camera around. It's not turning. It will. There we go. All right. Now, I'm not sure where I'm at. You can see. All right. Okay. This is without any prior stretching. All day. Feet are together. This is what most people can do. All right. Right now, what if I went down here like this? Now, I'm going to show you my legs. My knees are straight. All right, you can't see. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can't position this where you can see my legs being straight because you don't know if my knees are bent. I want you to know without a doubt that my legs are not bent. All right. Can you see my knees? Yep, I want to bring that up a little more. Almost. All right, now. Got to bring this in a little closer. All right, because I need to be able to see the screen to do this. Knees, all right, you can see the knees, but you need to be able to see my hands. Ah, all right, hold on. Like I said, bear with me. We're going to touch. I'm going to go below the step. I'm going to go to my wrists. All right. I've got to get this tripod raised up so I can get the get the angle here. Get the height on it. All right. Now, bring this up. Now maybe. Now maybe you'll be able to see my legs are straight and hands will wrists. All right, now let's see. Legs, all right, perfect. All right, here we go, bro, right here. All right, only because you can appreciate this. Uh, turn this back around, all right. Okay, here we go. Like, everything straight. All right, uh, is my head going to block? My head might block it. Ah, we're going to try here. All right, here we are. That's no, nope, my head's going to block. All right, well, look, you can see I'm down this far. My legs are straight and I'm down. Okay, legs are straight. Now, I want you to be able to see my hand my wrist down here at the edge that's what we're shooting for here all right here we go here we are right there right there below here we are so far down and that was without stretching So, you know, so I want to do, a, take a take a day, I don't know what day yet, a Monday, a Tuesday, a Thursday, something, Friday, I don't know what day. And uh, I, I will show you how to accomplish that. <laughs> uh, that's why I told you, I think you would appreciate seeing it. Not everybody can do that, I'm fully aware. 
Now, what blew my stepson's mind, I stacked up books about two and a half inches tall, and I stood on them. So I'm two and a half inches up, right? I'm up here. Then I put my hands flat on the floor, and his eyes about popped out of his head. <laughs> um, but it's the same thing, and you're putting your hands down, down, that far down below the step. Yeah, and, and see, so I'm wanting to um, do this class. I don't know what day. I'm not sure what time of day. It could be like 10 in the morning, California time. You know, 11 in the morning, California time. Uh, I may do it at 9. I just don't know yet, and I'm not sure what day I'm going to do it. Um, but I want to encourage people that haven't done it um, or that want to do it that used to be able to at least at least put their fingers on the floor then they can work to their palm you know if you can put your palm on the floor it's good enough now if you're in the martial arts the more flexible you are the better you are the more capabilities it gives you you know and uh, gives you the advantage overall uh, you you can sit flat, spread your legs apart, right? So your legs are spread apart, and then you want to take your your cheek and put your cheek flat on the floor when your legs are spread apart this way or this way, right? And you put your cheek down on the floor between your legs. The big thing is to get your forehead against get your forehead against your thigh up here, right? That's a big thing. Getting your forehead to it, right? Well, if you can put your cheek flat on that floor, you it's like dropping your hands below that step. And uh, the first goal is just to get your head to your leg. And your muscles in your you have four muscles in your leg. Do you know that? You have four muscles in, in your leg, in your thigh that you can work. Most people only know of the one, which is a hamstring, the one that runs back here. That's the one everybody knows and thinks about. But you've got four different muscles to work. And that's the hardest one to stretch. It's the hardest one to, to work is the hamstring. It's this muscle that runs along the back of your leg. Um, and that's the one that's why everybody knows about that one. That's the one you're using when you put your hands on the floor or try to touch your fingers to the floor. But you got four other muscles to relax, to loosen up. Yeah, well, that's what I that's why I'm wanting to do this uh, program um, here on my channel. So like I said, to encourage people that have never been able to touch their toes. Because you got to stretch your back muscles. You know, you want to strengthen your back muscles by doing stomach crunches. Did you know that? Stomach crunches, just the crunches, you know what I'm saying? You're crunching. Strengthens your lower back muscles. It works the lower back as well as, as, well as your abdomen, you know, obviously. Um, so you want to work the back muscles, strengthen it. You want to stretch it. And uh, you can sit in hot water. If, if, if your back muscles aren't really stretched, you can sit in hot water in the bathtub and then try to try to put your face to the water. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you're working that back muscle. Bring, bring, bring your leg up in the air, right? And can come forward. Great. Grab your leg up here, right? Grab your leg and then come forward. In the bathtub with hot water because that hot water helps that muscle to relax. And remember... Something you may know, you may not know, I don't know. Um, you want to go, your muscles are like rubber bands. If you, if you go out and you buy a brand new rubber band, you pull it apart and it will stretch so far and it will be tight and it will be hard and tight, right? You loosen that rubber band up. You can stretch it out all of a sudden. It will stretch to here and it will be hard and tight. But, but where was it the first time it stopped here, right? You release the tension. You can stretch it out even more. 
is release the tension, you can stretch it out even more, right? Release the tension, you can stretch it out even more, okay? Our muscles in our body are the same way. Now, you may not be able to do it in one sitting. It may take two or three different times, different, you know, schedules to sit down and stretch, stop the stretch. It may take you three or four classes or whatever you call it. Um, but each time you, you max it out, hold it, count to 60, release it, come back and release it. Take a deep breath. Take another deep breath and go down and exhale slowly. Slowly as you're going down, pace yourself. You move with your breathing and you go down. And you will find the second time you, you go down, you'll be able to go a little further. You hold it there for 60 seconds. You count to 60, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. That muscle's tight. You know, it may be burning a little bit. You raise up slowly, you exhale, you release the tip off of that muscle after 60 seconds. You go back down to where it starts to feel tight. You go down a little bit more and you exhale and you count to 60. And you come back up and release the tension on that muscle. And next thing you know, you're going you're gonna to be amazed at how far you're able to go. And you may need to do that three different sessions. You know, four different sessions, but you'll see improvement, which motivates you to keep doing it, you know. But uh, this is what I'm wanting to do, I've been thinking about doing, and uh, I just need to figure out what day, what time. Um, and it helps, you know, if somebody's working with you, you know. And, I, and if you've got questions, you know, I could ask, answer questions um, at that time. But I just gave you quite a bit of information unless you already knew it. If you didn't have this information, it will allow you to do some stretching and limber up um, where you would have been limited previously. Uh, there's some more for me to tell you about it. There's more to it. But that that's the good basics for it. Okay, is it did you were you aware of those things? Did you, this is information you already had, you already knew about? Or is it, it used to be in martial arts a long time ago? Long time ago. Um and that's where I learned to stretch, you know. I could I could stand flat footed and kick the kick the door overhead. Flat footed. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm lying. I'd have to raise up to the ball of my foot and I could kick the overhead, which is just showing you're stretched. That's just showing you're stretched. That's all that does. Um, that's a weak kick. That's a vulnerable kick. Uh, it's not a wise thing to be doing if you're using it. But for showing your ability and how stretched you are, it definitely shows how stretched you are if you can do that. No, I wasn't, but I was trying out as you were to. Okay, all right, good. Uh, I used to be able to kick the door top. That's what I'm talking about. After stretching, when I, yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Me too. But uh, I wouldn't try it now, even as stretched as I am. <laughs> I'd have to kind of feel my way up to that point if I was even do it. Hey, Bigfoot, Silver, Hiding, Seekers, we're talking about stretching. A stoner here, he's uh, into stick fighting and uh, some martial arts stuff. And so we're talking about stretching. And I was just telling him that I've been thinking about doing a day where I'm um, teaching how to stretch some, you know, I just haven't figured out what day or anything. Uh, and you used to be able to kick the top of the door, and I <laughs> I did that too one time. It had been a while, and I hadn't stretched, and me and my brother was talking. And I told him I used to be able to kick the top of that door frame right there. He says, no, you can't. I said, it's been a while, but yes, I can. 
He says, okay, show me. Well, I, I kicked it and just like you, man, I, my other foot came out from underneath him. Bam. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Every morning I start with stretching. Uh, yep, exactly. Yeah. Um, but when you're stretched and you're stretching and you're, you're still, you know, you're practicing, you're, you're fine. It's, but uh, you get away from it for a while and you think you can do it. Yeah, maybe you can, but you may not come out the way you think it's going to. <laughs> but I, I try to every morning. Not, I can't, I, I would lie. I'd be lying if I said I stretched every morning. But I'll stretch two, three times a week um, when I get out of bed. Um, I hadn't put my forehead on the floor between with your legs spread, put your put your forehead you know between your legs on the floor. It's been man a few years, and I spent three days working on getting my forehead on the floor between my legs. Um, took me three days, three sessions to do that, and my lower back felt sore afterwards after the first session. <laughs> I got in the bathtub, you know, kind of stretched a little bit and relaxed. And a uh, day or so later, maybe it's two days later, um, I stretched again and uh, got a little further. And then uh, the third day, which was the day after that, I um, stretched. I got it. It took me it took me a few minutes. It took me probably about five, maybe ten minutes to get my forehead on the floor. But I, I, I got there. But it took about five or ten minutes on the third session. I can still, I still can't do that. Well, like I said, it took me three sessions. After my first session, my lower back was aching. Not, not hurting, just kind of muscle. I worked those muscles really good, and they were aching. So I got in the bathtub, uh, good hot water. And uh, stretched, you know, easy, you know, so I stretched them easily and relaxed, like I was saying. And uh, two days I waited and I, I sat down, back down and worked and worked my muscles, my back muscles, leg muscles again. And uh, in the third session, it took me, like I said, five, maybe 10 minutes. And uh, I was able to get my forehead on the floor. Uh, but it'd been years. It'd been I don't know how many years since I've done that. I need to do it again. I haven't done it. And that's been like a week and a half ago. So it's probably time for me to get back to it and see where I'm at. But uh, you know, I wanna, I wanna, like I say, I need to figure out what day, what time I'm gonna do it, and start having a class, you know, consistently, where we're starting out doing basic stretching. And uh, then getting down to this more advanced, or what I'm going to call advanced stretching, you know. No, I'm serious though. I still can't. <laughs> no, but I'm serious, you know. It does just takes a little work, some little dedication. Your muscles, you know, working your muscles. It's it's. You get you put in a hundred percent, you get a hundred percent back. It's the best investment that you can do is is work out um stretch uh you can't don't get gung-ho and overdo it because you're going to pull a muscle tear a muscle you know you're going to hurt yourself um but just you know pace yourself take your time right? um you know like i said my muscles were sore my back muscles were tight like a tire you know they felt like they were they were tight um, I worked them, worked them pretty good. They were sore. I soaked them in the hot tub, stretched a little bit, waited a couple days. They felt good. I sat back down, did some more stretching. The next day I felt fine. I sat back down because I felt fine and uh, stretched them the next day. And I got my head to the floor. It's got my forehead to the floor. You know, you try to do it all at one time. You may do damage. You may make yourself sore for a week. You know, don't don't do that. <laughs> it's not it's not worth having doing the damage. It's not worth being sore for a week. <laughs> <laughs>
So just, you know, got to, got to be smart about what you're doing. So as soon as I figure this out, I will put a post up. Uh, so keep your eye out for a post, um, stretching, uh, you know, routine or something. I don't know what I'm going to title it, but it'll be pertaining to stretching. Um, and I'll have the day and the time up. So be, be, look, be looking out for my post. So how you been there, Silver Sneakers? Bigfoot Silver Hide and Seekers. Do you have another another channel? Are, are you Timo? Is, is, your, is your alternate channel Timo? I'm not going to tell. <laughs> no, okay. All right. Because you were you were in my last live stream, and then Tim, oh, I haven't seen Tim. It's Tim, then oh, right? Uh, and then you disappeared, and Timo showed up, and I'm like, wait a minute. you got two channels. <laughs> I have two channels. One's a Bible study channel. I think you know that. But, uh, yeah, I thought that might have been your other channel. <laughs> if you do a playback, you'll be able to see this uh, horny toad I've caught. It's a baby. He's about so big. Um, one is enough. Yeah, you know, my, my Bible study channel, I want to do more on it. And this one gets most of what I do. You know, it is hard to, to have two, to work two, uh, unless you have some help. And I don't have any, unfortunately. My wife would probably wish I wasn't on it half the time. But, uh, you know, that's how it goes. If I ever make any money from it, she'll be glad I did, you know. I just got to figure out how to get the sponsors. You know, how do you get the sponsorship is the question. Uh, I guess I got to call them and see where that goes, you know. Let's make some phone calls and find out. I mean, call, call sponsors, call skill sauce, call the wall, call whomever, you know, and see. Um, see what they say. But I really don't know. I know sometimes the, these different companies will find you and, it, and approach you, you know, with an offer. I've heard of that happening. Um, I've also heard of people calling them and getting some sponsorships that way, too. So, but I haven't done that, so I really don't know. So anyway, that's where the money is. That, that's where the money is. So, ah, uh, hold on, I got to get these glasses on. I just had them. Ah, where's those glasses? There they are. All right, hold on. Yeah, that poison, that bug spray poison I got in this eye over here, uh, it's messed up my vision really good. I can see out of it, but not well. Self-promotion on sites like Reddit gets more subs. I've, I've been on Reddit, but I don't really understand Reddit. Uh, get a Lowe's Home or Ace executive, maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm thinking about doing that at this point, you know. Um, I'm doing all this remodeling around here, and everything just about everything I'm doing, I'm videotaping. And, uh, you know, read it too big, too buggy, too what? Read it too buggy. We mean too buggy. You mean people went to hack into your account, hack into your YouTube? Um, there's there's another one. It's a uh, uh, Italian site called It My I T M Y It My, but they they they've got. Uh, Trojans and all kinds of stuff where they try to hack your channel because I've been over there looking at my videos. If you have any videos, um, some of your videos will go to ItMy. It's it's a Italian channel or French. It's in French, whatever. 
Um, there's another one that's a European channel. It's called uh, R capital R capital U hyphen clip. R U clip. I have, it's not all my videos, but they have a whole bunch of my videos on their site. It's a part of uh, the YouTube international uh, community. Um, on the on the RU clip, you see a lot of uh, videos like from China or f not, maybe not China, but you know, like uh, the Philippines and uh, Korea or wherever. Um, a lot of a lot of um, channels like that from over there. Jungle, jungle. Uh, you know, people living out in the jungle and doing their stuff, um, and that's. Capital R, capital U, hyphen, clip, R-U, clip. Um, another guy I know on YouTube, uh, one day we were talking. He just found out about it himself, and he was telling me. And he's like, Ken, man, you got videos on R-U, clip. I said, what? That's not YouTube. He says, no, but it's a part of YouTube. I'm like, what? And so he sent me a link, and I went over to R-U, clip. I had to put in my Google account you know, password, and it opened up, and bam, there was my videos over there, you know, I'm like, wow, are you serious, and I guess I need to do a live stream where I'm showing this, you know, I guess I need to show it, I haven't thought about it really, Um, I've told people about it, but I need to show it, look, this is my channel, it says, are you clipped, these are my videos, and they're over here, you know, and uh, then they kind of show what's what's on that on what what's on that search engine, you know, or that platform. And I'm just seeing uh, that too. Reviewing, playing, and more RPM. Reviewing, playing, and more. Did I miss him? Oh, there you are. Reviewing, playing, and more. I read that Reddit was more likely to attract trolls. Oh, okay, yeah. And stay away from it, my. It my is uh they want to hack your site. I, I keep getting um saying that I've got uh bugs on my on my phone and they're trying to get you to hit a button to quote clean it up. Cause when you okay them up, you're okaying for them to come in and now put Trojans on your device, whether it's a cell phone, computer, uh so unless you know it's legitimate, you do not okay um, any nothing. <laughs> um, clean it up, remove it. Uh, they'll tell you you've got worms and you've got Trojans and give them the okay to clean it up. And uh, you, then, you, then now you just opened it up for them to come in and put spyware on your device. Um, so if Google and, and then if it's Google, you got to know it's Google for sure. It's not a fake Google that looks like Google, you know, that these hackers are, are, are doing too. Um, I just had to put up my, uh, change my password because September 2nd, somebody changed my, my password. And so I had to go and Google notified me and I had to go change it. But yeah. Could be a pushing site. Yes, exactly. Don't go to our, don't go. No, I'm saying go to our Euclid. Far, my experience so far on our Euclid has been good. That's what I'm saying. This Italian site, it my, no. Uh -uh. And Reddit, I've been on Reddit looking at stuff, but I have, that's all I've done. Um, I haven't tried to upload to Reddit. Um, far as that goes but uh, this Italian site no you don't want to go there I mean like I say I get I get all this stuff telling me oh now oh what they're doing what they're doing most recently is they're telling me that I've won something like you know sixty five hundred dollars and it's on it my and I'm not clicking on nothing. I'm I'm xing it out. You know, you don't. You know, PayPal. You've got x. I haven't even set up a PayPal account yet. 
and they're going to tell me I've got like $6,500 or whatever it is uh, from the ITMI. You, you know, you click on stuff like that. You can allow them to put stuff on in your device then too. But uh, yeah, they're telling me I have money on a PayPal. I don't, I haven't even set one up. You know, but they're looking at my subscriber base and they're looking at, oh, this guy has his 4K. He's got a, he's got, you know, well, I don't. And uh, so I just exit out. I close it out, close it out, close it out. And uh, yeah, anytime it looks like there's asking for my password come up with something i know no, uh -uh. they don't even have to ask you for that <laughs> sometimes they put up these uh it's a false google it looks like google it's a counterfeit google and you go in there and put in your password and they just got it or you click on you you they, they're telling you that you want x amount of dollars and you click on it you just gave them access into your device to put the Trojans or spyware um, so that they can hack your device. Um, but for people that don't know it, you buy into it, you know, or, or, we, or we, it's a rule I never click on any links. Okay, there you go. There you go. Yeah, you X them out. You just close them out. Well, thank you there, Stoner. Uh, it's good. I'm glad to see you here, RPM, reviewing, playing, and more. Um, I've been meaning to stop by your channel. Um, I'm going to have to check out your playlist here. Like maybe, well, this is, well, maybe I'll do it tonight while I'm thinking about it. But uh, I'll give you a heads up. Uh, hit your playlist. I'll, I'll let you know. Um. Uh, uh what else yeah yep things to be aware of but the are you clip like i was saying um hold on there northwest i didn't quite see what you're saying what's the smoky the bear visit huh we haven't had any fires near me that i know of what's in the smoky the bear visits you smoky the bear now that was they used to advertise you know use him to encourage kids not to create forest fires out here in california but you say smoky the bear i don't know smoky the bear around here <laughs> it's cool i have my latest that's been very popular great views okay i'll do that uh, it looks like Smokey the Bear in there. Oh, 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 that's my screen. My screen's got 50 cracks in it. And uh, I'm just waiting on getting another phone. I go through about a phone every six, eight, nine months. My wife's getting fed up with it. And, uh, you know, it's, I need to get a good case, an otter case or something. And because uh, I'll drop them doing these videoing. Or I'll have it up on my shoulder talking, you know, and I'm washing dishes or something that falls down in the water or <laughs> always something. And so I need to get an indestructible phone. <laughs> yeah, um, it's my it's my screen here. You know, for example, I'm going to show you. You can't see. You cannot see the horny toe because he's I had to. He's buried. I can show you his head, though, but but you'll see the other screen is much clearer. All right. See, that's clear. Now the head. Oh, can you point out the head of the horny toad? He's like around the center of the screen. Now I'm going to point out the head of this horny toad. He's sleeping. All right. Right below here, right below my this this pointer is his head. And if I zoom in here, you'll be able to see his head. You see the little spikes around his head? Isn't that cool? 
All right, you can play. I got a call coming in, so I'm gonna have to. This may be uh, be paused here for a second. Hello. Hello. Are you are you outside? Yeah, yeah, and it's late. It's, it's dark. What? It's dark. Yeah, I know. I'm just All right. Bring your spotlight. I know that. Uh, yes, definitely. All right. All right, I'm back. Um, but but that's his head. I'll give you real close. I got to disconnect here. But if you look around, right where that ant just crawled up, that's his head where the ant's at right now. You can see the little spikes around his head. You see the spikes where that ant was? The spikes are at the back of his head and side of his head. And if you look really close, you can actually see his face. Okay? But that's him. Usually he's buried in all the way, but he blends right in. You never know. You just think it was a rock sitting there. But now that you can see it, you can see them. You see the spikes there? My screen will clear up. There it is. Now you can see the spikes around its head. And you can see the shape of his head above that. Pretty cool, huh? See the see the little ridges and spikes? Uh, if you do a playback on the video, on this live stream, you'll be able to see him. He was the majority of the uh, of this stream for the first half hour or so, and you and I've got him like really close, up close and personal, so you can really get a good look at him. And uh, I haven't seen any videos where they're showing these that close or personal, you know, up close and personal. But very few people do videos that way, you know. So maybe I'm, maybe I'm cutting the trees, you know, for a whole nother group of YouTubers to start doing videos that are up close and personal. Because all mine are. I mean, I'd say 80% of them are up very up close and personal. So I'm going to start doing my intro is that when you want to see an up close and personal video, remember easy to tips and tricks, etc. That ought to be my new intro. But anyways, my wife's telling to run i gotta go give her a hand doing some stuff it's been fun um rpm I'll, I'll be hitting you up here later uh thank you everyone for being here um stoner i'm going to definitely check out your channel i'll be uh communicating with you over there and uh be prepared for a lengthy uh, uh comment because that's just how i roll and um Look forward to get to know you. Um, if you don't know, reviewing, playing, and more RPM or Silver Bigfoot, Silver Hide and Seekers. He has a few. Videos. Hopefully, he'll put up one soon. Hello. I've been I've been trying to get him to put up another video for a while. He has some really good content on silver and what's in coins and whatnot. Um, worth your time to check out. So get to know these guys and. Uh, Stoner, he's into martial arts and stick fighting. And uh, thanks again for being here. Thanks you for being a part of my community. You know, I say this all the time, but I mean it from my heart, you know. I appreciate everyone for that's, that's in my community, you know, and for being here for the support. It means a lot. United we stand, as I always say, and united we make it happen. We help one another out. You know, it's a good thing. It's a win, win, win. So, all right. I got to end it with my, with, you know, and never give up because there's always a way. Always. You just got to find out what that way is. So never give up. Bye for now. And again, thanks for being here. Catch you on the rebound. Peace out and God bless.